Meantime, Centerpoint says crews have been removed, have removed more than 6,000 trees, walked more than 8,500 miles of circuits, and replaced more than 2,000 power poles. And this week, the 13 Investigates team sat down with a Centerpoint executive whose job is to make sure that our local infrastructure is stronger. And today, 13 Investigates got an inside look at a company that's selling power poles to Centerpoint that should survive, apparently, any storm of the future. Our investigative reporter Kevin Ozer back here with more about this one, Kevin. And Eric, we are so used to these, these old wooden power poles. But as our storms seem to get stronger and stronger, are they really the best at protecting our electric grid? Well, as we keep walking, the next pole we're about to walk upon at first glance may seem like all the others. But this is a newer composite pole. And one company that is making these composite poles is using this. This is woven fiberglass on one side. And then, then they're then coated with this very high tech resin. And this company says their poles will protect our power. The intent is to have this fully staffed in humming in the near future. Rob Crody hopes very soon hundreds of newly hired employees will be filling this humble factory and they'll be pumping out these by the thousands. They're power poles designed for the storms of today and tomorrow. Are these poles like essentially indestructible? I don't know if I would call them indestructible, but as we've advertised and we say, we've never lost a pole to a weather event. Crody is the executive vice president of Resilient Structures. The Canadian company opened this distribution center, soon to be a manufacturing center too in southeast Texas. Wow, they're very lightweight. Thousands of their light but built to last power poles have already been bought by Centerpoint. And unlike wood utility poles that Hurricane Barrel broke, split, and cracked, Crody says his poles are still standing tall. If more of these poles were in place prior to Hurricane Barrel, how do you think the aftermath may be different? I mean, it's tough for me to speculate, but we do know. Our poles that were in place during not only derecho but uh, hurricane barrel did not fail. Was enough done in terms of resiliency going into this hurricane season? No, that's why we proposed uh, this plan. On Wednesday, Centerpoint Executive Jason Ryan, who's charged with fortifying the local grid, admitted to 13 investigates more should have been done before the storm season. The power provider has submitted to the state a plan to spend $1.45 billion to protect its electric infrastructure from future extreme events like hurricanes. Of that, $376 million is designated for just hardening its infrastructure, which includes buying poles like the ones made by resilient structures. Even if we get hit with a Cat 5, do you think these poles would survive? Uh, I, the pole itself will survive. But all that durability does come with a cost, a pretty big price tag, actually. Some of these composite power poles can cost around five grand each, but the argument is they are cheaper to transport, they are cheaper to install, they are cheaper to maintain. And because they last so long, in the long run, they are a great deal.